What's life like in Moscow now? Let's take a look. Welcome, and now I invite you to listen, understand, and repeat these phrases. It was a beautiful, warm summer's day, and we decided to take a stroll through the park. There are lots of parks in Moscow, in the centre, the outskirts, and today we were going to one of the parks near the centre of the city. The tall, pristine trees cast dark shadows upon the forest floor. Lucas the dog was over the moon to be having such a long walk. He was pulling impatiently on his lead. He could smell something. This seems to be some kind of open-air gym. Do you fancy a workout? I had some difficulty straightening my leg. I tried to bend at the waist. And what about this exercise for strengthening the stomach muscles? Have you ever tried it? I leapt from ball to ball. Is your energy level a little below par? Then how about renting an electric scooter? 199 rubles for 30 minutes. The popularity of these scooters seems to be taking off. And actually, they go quite fast. And what's going on here? There's a wonderful smell hanging in the air. Some people are having a barbecue. We spot a lone cyclist. A pair of cyclists and what the heck is that? It looks like skiing on wheels. And going at a leisurely pace, a group of runners. We could really do with something cool and refreshing. Perhaps an ice lolly dipped in chocolate? That really makes my taste buds tingle. Do you have any idea what this bird is called? You sometimes spot them in Russian parks. Well, here is my impression of this bird's call. Do you think that's realistic? In this flower bed can be found some vibrant magenta roses. What kind of tree is this? Yes, it's an oak tree. And under the tree, many small oak trees growing. This must be one of the most fantastic water fountains anywhere. Absolutely superb. This walkway takes you up into the branches. You can walk amongst the foliage about three meters above the ground. There are many different sections of Exhibition Park. Here, for example, is an orchard with apples almost ripe for picking. And there's also a labyrinth of winding gravel stone pathway. My footsteps crunch on the gravel as I wind my way through the maze. If you look carefully at the top of the tree, there is something. Can you identify it? It's a sculpture of a bird. And on a previous visit, I made this clip of Larissa on a metal bench. This stadium is free for public use. 
some guys were playing American football. Some one-to-one -one soccer practice. And this sprinter is really going for it. We admired the reflection of the trees in the lake. Some pigeons were cooling off in the water. A couple soaking up the atmosphere. It's great fun in a rowing boat. A bite to eat on the lakeside. There's even a restaurant. This building is called the Pavilion of Spies. This is the exhibition area of the park. A gigantic helicopter and a space rocket. It seems ready for blastoff. Against the looming clouds, the tail of a commercial jet. There was quite a crowd today. We walked by the gushing fountains. In the winter, all of this central area becomes a massive public skating rink. There are many impressive buildings with tall columns and ornate details. There are a lot of opportunities for taking photos and selfies. In fact, everyone's doing it. A bowl of summer flowers. Some cube-shaped hedges. And well-tended flower beds. There are so many attractions in this park. But there are always some just happy to sit and watch the world go by. Family groups amble along, wondering where to go next. And always the sound of water falling and piped music from the many loudspeakers. The wind turns the water jets into spray. And people fear there could be rain. Another unbelievable fountain. The 16 gilded statues represent the nations of the Soviet Union. And this is another famous fountain. So many vivid colours. Of course, Exhibition Park is one of Moscow's most famous. But now let's travel to our local park in northern Moscow. There are immaculate flower beds everywhere you look. And if you're in the mood, there's a romantic bridge. It seems people attach great importance to public spaces. A wide range of facilities for every age group. Sun loungers and open-air table tennis. I hope you found these English phrases useful. To sound more like a native speaker, keep repeating these phrases. That's all for now. Goodbye.